What's going on YouTube? Let's make another quick uh, update video now at the seven week mark after my ulnar nerve transposition surgery. Uh, things are going pretty good. I worked out at the gym yesterday again. That was the first time, actually second time doing a upper body workout um, and I was able to um, add a little bit more weight. It was still really light um, and then I still kind of did a whole upper body thing uh, did like some, I actually intentionally did a, a narrow grip pull down like this where you're kind of bringing it down like that because I figured that would give my, uh, you know, a good test of how much, you know, tightness and whatnot was in my elbow and it feels pretty good. Um, you know, last week when I did it, it, uh, I had a decent amount of soreness actually in both elbows and today... You know, I first woke up, it was kind of sore, and I'm, you know, it might be a little sore, but it's it's a lot better. Uh, so that's encouraging, definitely. And um, it seems like the, you know, sporadic pain that I talked about around my elbow seems to be getting fewer and further in between. So another good sign. Uh, I have been uh, massaging it more. And I want to show you guys something. There's there's areas of the scar where, and you know, maybe some of you guys can tell me this too. I can feel like something harder underneath. Like, you know, this is still sensitive when I do this. And that's how I've been massaging it. I don't know if like I'm supposed to be doing something else, but circular thing. And I don't press real hard until I feel like, like right here, I have, I thought it was like some sort of like in, internal suture or whatever maybe it was the fascial flap or something i don't know but there's definitely a, a hard piece of sort of the scar there it almost feels like there's some object underneath my in you know where the incision was closed right there but i'm pretty sure it's it's scar tissue and it's it's hardened and it's definitely hurts when i press on it and i think i've kind of figured out that that's the pain i feel it feels very similar to my nerve and kind of nerve pain because it's sort of in the same area but there's a thing here and I kind of just press on it and it's a little sensitive and I work it around like this it's just kind of small surface I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to do it but it seems like it's helping so I've been doing that uh, I don't really do much of this anymore because uh, it feels pretty good and uh, I play guitar as you guys probably see uh, put videos on sometimes of doing that and uh, the guitar feels good. I'm still trying, you know, I'm, I'm typing now. I'm at my uh, computer right now, my desktop, and I've been answering emails and whatnot. And, if you know, this hand feels fine typing and mousing. Um, it, we'll have to see if this one gets better. I'll probably have to get the surgery in that one. But I'm feeling better about that, uh, given the way this one's recuperating. And I'm hoping that, you know, as I spend more time exercising I can really sort of test to see how this recuperated. I intend on doing another upper body workout on Friday and I probably won't add any more weight than I did this past time like um, you know I was kind of uh, I was chatting about it with my wife last night she was asking me how I was feeling and everything and I said like now I was actually able to I, I did like three sets of everything and the last set I slowly kind of added a little bit more weight. And the last set would be like what I would normally warm up with if I was working out. So it's still really lightweight, but it's like getting into the sort of realm of, you know, what normal would, would feel like. And I still, like I said before, I feel strong enough that I could. I just don't want to rush it. And actually, you know what's funny is I just massaged that. And when I bent my arm, it kind of was sore there. So it's this scar tissue here kind of gives me some soreness problems. But... That's why I, I try to, you know, in between days where I'm doing any kind of activities, I'll spend more time massaging it. I didn't really massage it the way I probably was supposed to because, as you guys know, I had that allergic reaction that looked totally disgusting and itched like crazy. And I didn't really want to touch it to make it itch more. I probably would have been safe to do so, but, you know, whatever. I, I think I'm pretty lucky in terms of how it healed and how much scar tissue there is, and there's only that little spot. It doesn't seem like it, you know, 
it's behind my nerve because it's behind this bone and my nerve I can tell my nerve is like right here in front of the bone I can't really feel it but I can see it when I look at my elbows and I compare like you know how much when I just look down at my elbows like this you guys can't see them maybe like that let's see I don't know yeah maybe you can see that this one you can see it, it looks a little bigger it's not because it's swollen or anything it's just now because my nerve runs on the front side of that so a little bit more information for you there so uh you know hopefully i can uh continue to progress and i'll, I'll be fine and uh you guys have been very cool and, and uh being supportive and i appreciate that and you know for all you guys that find this helpful that was the intention i'm glad you find it um encouraging and it, you know i know it's weird they seem, you know, a lot of doctors don't really know how to talk about this or, I mean, maybe they do know a lot about it, but they just don't come across that way. I don't know. But uh, there's a lot of people that have it, get it fixed, and um, now I'm one of them. So one other question I wanted to uh, answer that I keep getting a lot is about the Flextend glove. And if you're not familiar with that, there's a guy on YouTube, and he has you... Um, wearing a glove that has wires that attach to the back here so that there's resistance uh, when you open your hand like this and when you like straighten out your fingers and you spread your fingers, there's um, some sort of kind of resistance. I guess the, the things are attached here because yeah, like you open up this way. The intention is to work these extensor muscles right here in your forearm. Like as you, as you see me wiggle my arm, you see those muscles moving and you can tell they're small muscles right like you know the his theory on this <clears throat> is that people get cubital tone because your flexor muscles here out you know outpower these you know these are these aren't strong enough and these are these are stronger and they they sort of throw things out of balance but i i don't see how that would be accurate and I'm not a doctor or anything like that but I mean just looking at your arm this is a big mass of muscle here this is never gonna be you know this is never gonna be the same size as this nor can it be as strong because it's it's just not enough muscle fiber there even to get as strong and you know his thing is oh you don't work your extensors enough anytime you type you're lifting your fingers up and look what my look at my arm when I do that they're moving and I can tell you guys, any of you guys that work at a computer, put pressure on like your arm around here and it'll be sore because you're overworking those muscles. You're not underworking them. You're never going to, they're just small muscles. They get overworked easy. And I don't think this Flexden stuff is going to do anything but overwork them further. In fact, I didn't buy the Flexden glove. I tried to look for it for you guys before I film this video but I couldn't find it because I never used it because I used it for like a couple weeks and I was like this is ridiculous it's nonsense it was the same thing I got it on Amazon it was like a ball that you can squeeze and then it had loops for your fingers so you open up and then it worked like these extensor muscles so I did all the same exercises he had people doing and the only thing that I think benefits people with that is he has you doing things like um you know, going like this, there's like stuff like that and different ways that like they're bending. And to me, it's, you're essentially doing the nerve gliding exercises that you can do without the glove. Um, he has you doing with the glove on, but you don't need the glove. It's, if you see any benefit from doing that with the glove, it's probably from doing the nerve exercises like this stuff, not anything with your hand. So, if you, you know, first, uh, I would figure out or try to at least pay attention to whether your nerve pops over the bone or not. If you have a subluxating nerve, if you do, the nerve gliding exercises probably aren't going to help you very much. They didn't help me very much because my nerve um, had a tendency to, to pop over. Not all the time, mind you. It, it would slowly kind of, you know, if this is the bone and the nerves back here, it would kind of slowly come onto the top. It wouldn't always you know, pop completely over. So you don't think that if your nerve doesn't pop completely over, that doesn't mean you have subluxation. In fact, 
you know, as the doctor did when he decompressed the area around my nerve and then he bent my arm while I was in surgery, then it popped over even freer, which is a lot of the reason why they do transpositions if you show any sign of a subluxating nerve or any kind of nerve instability. So figure out how your nerve feels, you know, by putting your finger here and kind of, you know, I can, I can feel it still. It's kind of weird to, uh, here it is right here, yeah. Um, it's so much different now, you know, here. Um, but I could tell pretty easily doing a variety of different uh, nerve gliding exercises that my nerves were not stable would definitely sort of round over or pop over completely. And therefore, the nerve, ex the nerve gliding exercises usually called me, caused me discomfort. Some of them seemed to work sometimes, but I think it was more or less a placebo effect. The thing that gave me the most relief was not doing anything at all. So again, if you have a subluxation, the nerve gliding exercises aren't going to help, and the flex then glove sure isn't help. I personally don't think that is worth, and I think he charges an exorbitant amount of money for it. So please don't waste your money on that. Try doing um, nerve gliding exercises. If that helps, then do that. But the glove, I don't think you need it. Um, so there's my two cents on that. Uh, I'll try to, you know, continue to, to film these if you guys are interested. I mean, it, it seems redundant to me at this point. Um, maybe I'll uh, start, you know, spacing them out a little bit. Um, or if I get more questions, I'll, I'll, I'll post them. But we'll see how I feel next week. Maybe I'll feel even better. I'll have something else to uh, update you guys on. But I hope that helps. Uh, again, if you have any questions or, or whatnot, uh, let me know. I'm, I'm more than happy to answer them. And uh, take care, guys. Aloha.